reveal is here. We have the confirmation now on Urza and Irene's history together and what is the relation to them. And we can finally confirm after so many attempts at the, no, she's Urza from the future. No, she's her grandma. Finally, I can say, yeah, a lot of that's called it. She's in fact Urza's mother. Irene Basilion, or shall we say Urza Basilion as well. Because they're both from the same family tree. And, you know, the apple don't fall too far from the tree, ladies and gentlemen. Because, goddamn, did Irene give us some bombshells in this chapter. So let's talk about that as how this is one of the few times that, like, Urza has just not, not, not per se, but just embarrassed. Like, Irene just embarrassed. Embarrassed Urza, which you know, a lot of the time, fairy tale characters all the time need to look the coolest and the strongest, and they ain't afraid of nothing. But throughout the entirety of this chapter, with a good majority of it, was like a lot of Urza fighting, and she was doing some cool stuff, like she was using like the tips of her toes as like swords at some parts, like fighting Irene. But wow, could she not do anything at all to fight this character at all? Even when she's doing like a heavenly wheels, like Blue and Bay, like, you know, doing all this stuff. And it's just like, all she's just doing is just like, <laughs> just, you know, bravo, bravo, kid, bravo. I've got to like, you know, give you something that cool. There you go. A nice little pretty thing for that. And like, even Wendy's like, what what is going on like seriously and it's just like you, not even with that like you only dodge those attack but even you just like, completely annihilate it and she's just like even with that little girl's enchantment support is that really all you can do Urza you are disappointing child you are very disappointing and then honestly the, the everything that was with Irene and everything of like that was great I will say the first couple of pages like I think it was like the first two maybe three pages and all that was just like with uh, like finding out about you know stinging all them as like you know card I I didn't care for that stuff at all as we was like looking throughout the entirety of like all of that stuff going through it as we were seeing like you know and strangely enough there was an actual page where we had like a confrontation of sort of sorts of between like Minerva and Kagura and kind of like letting them like you know forgive everything after like what happened in the Grand Magic games like you know what she did to Lidiana you know like I know like also as well like stabbing her in the back and everything all this kind of stuff and just Kagura like kind of full circle saying you know besides I, I stopped holding grudges against people anymore and like so which yeah, like everything that was with them I didn't care for in the chapter but when it was er everything what was shined on Urza and Irene it was fucking fantastic it was so good like I really enjoyed that stuff and either way she was just like who are you woman like just like, like you know reveal yourself and it's just like oh no the truth is you slowly realize the answer child you already that like, you refuse to admit it and it's just like I don't know what you're talking about, like, say it now, and it's just like, even when he's like, not only their faces, but their centers are around it, and she just said, she says it full out, Urza, I am your mother, and just, Urza's just face of just like, pure, just shock, and she's just like, no, liar, like that, I, I am Rosemary, I was living on my own, I didn't thought I didn't have any parents all the time, and it's just like, and I like how she just st st stayed right there, one of your parents is standing right before you. And it's like, no, the only person that I could ever call a parent was Makaroth. He was my father, like, out of everyone. It's just, and just the way how Irene's acting, I don't care. Whether I had a daughter or not, it doesn't matter. Honestly, I thought that you already died years ago. It doesn't matter. Like, why should I care now after, like, 20 years? Like, after all this time, I say, yeah, we reunite at such an inconvenient time. You know, and uh, so it's like, no, but no, no matter what, anyone that attacks the guild is my enemy, no matter who it is. And it's just like, of course, I would consider the same thing with Alvarez as well, even if it's my own child. And she's just like, but finally, you know, we, we met after so long, Urza. Why not discuss the past? Why not discuss, like, everything about us and all that? And she's just like, no, I don't want to. Shut up. And she just stops Urza in her tracks. And she's just like, listen, I'm going to tell you this regardless. And it's just like, very chilling of, like, Irene. And she's just like, let's start from the, uh, like, from the beginning. My name is Irene Basilian. And I was once the queen of dragons. And you just see uh, like that, and I remember just seeing that in the spoilers, and I just went, Shh, just like, what? What? Like, the Queen of Dragons. Like, now here's the thing though, like, where we've heard, like, Irene's given slight sort of hints, like, towards, you know, she knows magic of the future and stuff like that when she was staying on the Acnologia. 
and we still don't know a lot about Urza's like past. Oh yeah, she grew up in Rosemary, but we don't really know fully of her past. Like not all of it is fully uh, fully explained. And the question is, like, if that's happening, if she was like once the Queen of Dragons, then what? Like, you know, exactly what? Like, what did she come from the past? Like, was she exactly kind of like was she in the timeline? Like, exactly like you know what we saw with like you know Anna, like Hartelia. Is it during that time? Like, is she like one of the pretty much one of the original like you know like of the Scarlet name? Like, I'm really curious about that and. Generally, I know a lot of people are already making an assumption. If she was the Queen of Dragons, then her father must be Acnologia. It must be, like, the father, you know, the king of all dragons. And that was kind of why they had a big, you know, dispute. But generally, you would have said, like, wouldn't have Acnologia notice, like, if Irene was, like, someone, like, you know, like, of that caliber? And also, as well, it's, like, it's even the question, is Irene an actual dragon, like, or a dragon slayer herself? Is that something that she has in her arsenal? Because she was once the Queen of Dragons, and, like, even having that giant dragon with Sizer, is that like exactly her original form or was she just like she was able to take is that because she was so strong that she was able to tame them and that's what people referred her to as back in the day and I really love that part as we like the next chapter is origin of the dragon so we are going to be finding out a ton of stuff about Irene finally after so long and that's like I've said it so many times very tell like I really enjoy it when it starts going into people's backstories and starts explaining a little bit more of the history and the world and a lot more of these concepts. And then it's, it's a shame because like a lot of the time we can all agree that Fairy Tail doesn't stick the landing on some of the fights, and it's just aggravating because then you have like some of these characters that have really interesting like you know backstory and reasons you know like why they should fight and all this stuff. And then generally in this time like who don't have anything or it's just like some of the fights don't stick the landing. And I really hope this is the one Urza fight that we can finally agree like you know. Everyone's saying, you know, Urza's fight was something fantastic. Like, I, I want that to be the case and all that. And I just hope that is, like, coming into this fight. And just, especially, I'm more excited about finding about the origin of the dragons. And what do you think? Uh, like, and especially, do you think ever, like, Urza's, fa like, father is going to be revealed in the series? Or was he just another person, like, kind of like Nazi's family, like, his original family, was, like, just to die under the dragons? Or do you think he is someone important in the series? Do you think he is perhaps Acnologia? Although I personally don't think that, that would be really cool if it was Acnologia. Like, uh, like you know, that would explain why Urza is so goddamn fucking strong. And it's not because she's Urza, because she's Irene and Acnologia. You got the fucking queen and king. Like, that would be great. And I generally hope that was something, but there's a lot of questions. And I generally think with what we saw with her, like with the blade and like kind of like how like her tire is, like uh, back in the day, I generally do think like that's what she was. She was like, they called her the queen of dragons because maybe she was able to tame dragons. Remember, we have seen people like future rogue that had the dragon taming magic, that he was able to actually control dragons. So maybe she was one of the original people to have this. Overall, I think if anything, that like, what kind of might explain it is that maybe, uh, like, uh, out of everything, Irene probably did come from the past and maybe did learn some stuff from the future. Maybe she was able to use that. Maybe she's gone through, like, the eclipse many times where she's gone through the past, the present, and the future. All we have to say is that we have to wait until next week. We have to wait until the spoilers to find out anything about this chapter. But, God damn it, every single part that was about Urza and Irene in this chapter was fantastic. I really wish that was the entirety of the chapter because I really didn't care too much for the Sting and Rogue kind of stuff at the end. Although it was a very tiny part of the chapter. It was only like two, three pages of it. The rest of it, fantastic. And getting some very inf interesting information. And just like, it's not every time that you see a fairy tale character. Not just oh, just but just made to look like a child and helpless and just cannot do anything. Like, you are no match like at all. For like uh, Irene at the moment, you need to find that weakness sometime, like fast, or even you gotta pull out the Nakagami armor or something at the moment, Urza, because she's just making she's just making fun of you. And generally, the fact that she's got time to tell the story, yeah, that says a lot to you, Urza, right now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. What do you think about this fairy tale chapter down below? I will see you guys though, and you fairy tale fans though, next time.